Good Hi. evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. We start tonight with traffic changes going on in Roanoke County as workers started installing new traffic signals along Route 419. Here are the facts tonight at 11. The new light will be placed at the intersection with Route 720 at Colonial Avenue and Postal Drive and Springwood Park Drive at Ruby Tuesday. These lights will feature new flashing yellow arrows, allowing drivers to make a left turn. New tonight at 11, WSLS 10's Scott Lehman has been asking questions to VDOT, working to gather the facts on how this could impact traffic in Roanoke County. Scott joins us now live in Roanoke County. Scott, is the goal of these flashing yellow lights to improve traffic safety? Turning to our forecast now, where temperatures remain steady in the 50s again this afternoon, but they're expected to dip down in the 30s overnight. For what we can expect in the days ahead, let's go now to Storm Team 10 meteorologist Patrick McKee. Patrick, looks like there's some chance for rain tomorrow. New tonight at 11, we're learning more about a Vinton police car crash we first told you about Sunday. The Vinton police chief says the officer was getting into place to chase after a group of people accused of shoplifting from a convenience store. The chief says the car rolled down the hill hitting a tree and the fence outside Fallon Park Pool in Roanoke City causing about $3,000 in damage. Police charged two people and no one was hurt. The Virginia General Assembly meets tonight in a one-day veto session to consider Governor Bob McDonald's legislative changes. Here are the facts tonight. By single Senate vote, the General Assembly did prevent abortion coverage from being offered in insurance policies that would be sold through a federally funded health insurance exchange. Earlier in the day, the House approved the amendment by a 55 to 37 vote. Lawmakers also discussed the amendment that would provide money to fill two out of three vacancies on the Roanoke bench. No word yet on an outcome. A behavior health organization offering what many consider a vital service in the New River Valley made significant cuts last week. NRV Community Services laid off eight employees, mainly managerial positions. Leaders say rising health care costs, sequestration, and costs in federal reimbursements led to the decision. The reorganization includes consolidating some departments. No additional cuts are planned for the immediate future. It's been one year since the Cedar Point apartment complex fire. It left 18 people homeless. Now the complex is rebuilding. They've already rebuilt the third floor apartments. The first and second floor units were gutted down to the studs. The floor plans will stay the same in the 12 unit building, but with some upgrades for the more than 40 year old building. Meanwhile, those that live there still think back to that day. The apartment hopes to have everything ready by May or June. A new restaurant opens in downtown Roanoke. Cork and Crust is the newest business to open inside 16 West Marketplace. Right now they are just serving pizza, wine and beer, but owner Mark Linson says he hopes to expand the menu in the future. He also says the restaurant is the third phase of the overall project, adding another attraction to draw in downtown residents and customers and the restaurant will be open Monday through Friday from 11 until 9. Apple Ridge Farm expands, adding a unique bed and breakfast. The nonprofit has served as a summer camp for kids in need in the Roanoke Valley for 25 years now. They'll soon be adding three donated train cabooses, which will be renovated into bed and breakfast suites to raise money for more children to attend camp. The cabooses will be moved to Apple Ridge Farm in a few weeks. Let's move to stories making national and international headlines now. The Pentagon has confirmed tonight an anti-missile system is being sent to the American base in Guam, south of the Korean Peninsula, as tensions continue between North Korea and the United States. As we've reported, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un closed a major industrial park that symbolized cooperation with South Korea. Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel offered his assessment of the situation. With the unveiling of the anti-missile system, many still worry the rising tensions could spark an incident that could escalate. Connecticut lawmakers spent the day debating some of the most comprehensive gun laws in the United States today. Here are the facts. The legislation extends an assault weapons ban, prohibits high-capacity magazines, expands universal background checks, and funds school security upgrades. The issue still has many in the state and throughout the U.S., for that matter, <laughs> divided. Meanwhile, President Obama continued to pressure Congress to pass new federal gun control measures in Colorado today. Moving to Washington, D.C. now, the White House announces that President Obama will be taking a 5% pay cut. Officials say the president decided to return part of his salary each month for the rest of the year to share in the sacrifice that other government employees are making because of the furloughs. To give you some perspective, the president of the United States makes about $400,000 a year, meaning with a pay cut he'll be giving up just under $1,700 a month. After weeks of speculation, change is now official for NBC's late-night lineup. 
The network announced Jimmy Fallon will take over as host of The Tonight Show next spring, replacing Jay Leno. And after more than 30 years in Burbank, The Tonight Show will also return to the place it started in 1954, New York City. Now, what do you think about that, Jack? See, I was always a fan of Jay Leno, so I'm a little disappointed to see him go, but I'm sure Jimmy Fallon uh, will do just fine. See, I've always liked Jimmy Fallon. I just hope he brings his roots along. North Cross students volunteer to make a difference for Roanoke City Middle Schoolers. Coming up, we'll hear from ninth grader Vincent Arnold, who started the Tudor Club earlier this year. Why he feels even making a small difference can go a long way. And coming up in sports, Louisville and head coach Rick Pitino try to move forward in the NCAA tournament against Wichita State without Kevin Ware. And the Salem Red Sox prepare to open the season on the road against the Frederick Keys in Maryland. 